hello and assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to my channel this is a brand new video and we are going to learn how to use wp forms using this tutorial so let's get started this is the test what page dashboard we are going to implement the wp form here in this website go to plugins and add new to search the plugin type wp forms this is the plugin we are looking for we will now install and activate it here in the dashboard you can see a new menu called wp forms let's go to all forms we are going to add a new contact form here so click on add new Here you can see there are few templates to use in free version. As this is our simple contact form, I am using a simple contact form template. We can also use the blank form to create our own type. See there are few fields already here. There is name, email and message. In this template there are name format which is first name and last name we can make it a simple form like just name so now let's try to add a new field go to add fields these are the few fields you can add in free version from the add fields let's add phone number so click on numbers here you can see the number field is added in the bottom of the form let's just drag it to the right place we can change level like what you want also clicking by the required option this field will be required and without this field this form will not be submitted by user let's add another field we can choose check boxes just like the phone number we will change the level here and also the choices simple contact form is our form name we can change it also and by clicking the save button we are going to save this contact form now let's go to settings from here you can change the form name and also the submit button label here you can see submit button text level is submit let's change it as send now notifications send to email address this is the field here we are going to use our email id where we want to get the email notification using this form we can use many email id here by using comma I am just putting a dummy email address. We can change the email subject line also and form name. Rest of the things will be remain as it is. Now we have to save the form again. So this is our contract form and this is the short code of our contract form. So we are going to use this short form to use this form. My page builder is Elementor. I am using Elementor to edit this page. Now search for short code. Here it is, 
we are going to drag and drop here. Now let's paste our shortcut here and update. You can see the contact form is already displaying here. It's time to preview our page. So here it is. This is our desired contact form using WP Forms. If you want this kind of form, we can just go to form, click on advance and let's change the size to large. So you can see the right side, the name field, email field and paragraph field is now in same length. Just follow the settings I am doing here and just save. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Take care.